it has begun. Hello every pony and every furry out there. Today I'm Kitty Bell and today my friend Scootbot is here to show you how to do farms and stuff. Hello. I'm going to show you how to actually start doing like redstone and stuff from the basic because I know a lot of people out there don't know how to do that. Me? I'm still not that good at redstone but I can teach you how to do it easy. Let's start off with like a basic yeah. farm first. Like the ones you see in villages. So everybody can actually know how to get a farm set and actually how to work the farm. We're right here with Baby Ghast to show us just how to do that in creative mode. And you can go back to first person. Alrighty. Step by step. As we build the foundation. Then you grab your tool to do this. The hoe? Yeah. Of course, I'm using a stone one, but still. Even though it's just basic stone hoe, it's still better than no hoe. Mm hmm. And we have the basic farm. I know what else I forgot to add to this thing. Lily pads. Especially if you get tired of all the villages always jumping on the crops and everything. Lily pads are glass work. Right. And for glass work, all you gotta do is just knock those thing out. <laughs> That's what I call you. Uh, just put a block first, then your grass, and then just drip the grass across the water only. Personal water. preference, of course. Right. And of course, torches you can also use as well if you want. Hmm. I like the lily pads. They look right. nice, but having torches helps. Right. But a lot of times you can't get lily pads unless you have a swamp, and a lot of times you don't have swamps, so. But yeah, if you want to put torches out when you use little packs, some on the sides here like this. Pop. Like this. And there's your little pack set up. Hooray! It's not hard. Everybody can do that easy. But if you really want a quicker way to do it, which would take a lot more resources, but an auto farm. Takes a little bit more work to do, but it's worth it in the end. Yeah, and we have to go through the step by step process. Right. First, what you want to do is make a foundation for it. Again, something like that. But auto farms can be huge. Yes, they can. So it depends on how big you want the farm to be. How much product you want to make? Mm hmm. I think the most complicated part is the redstone setup to make it work. Right. You 
And the nursing home setup is the hardest part about it. Because a lot of people don't know how to work that stuff. Now I don't care if I mess up in this thing. It's creative mode. And I think the max blocks that water can travel for a stop is seven blocks. Seven blocks long. Of course, I'm gonna make sure when I get ready to. Well, a lot of people don't know how to use that stone to make farms like this, but there are people out there who do. But honestly, I don't think they know how to work it as good as I do. Not saying they don't know how to use redstone. You know, redstone can be complicated sometimes. Of course, sticky pistons are what's needed, which you have to use a piston and slime balls. Or to make sticky pistons. Mm. Yeah, sometimes the pistons can be. But once you get it, the hang of it, it's easy. Yes, it is. Basic water farms like this, or well, auto farms like this, yes, it takes a lot of material, but it's worth it. And just so to note, you can also do this in survival with a little effort. It is survival ready. You can be, it can be done, I've done it. Countless times. Well, we're showing it on... In creative mode, because it's easy to get the stuff that way. But I'll just show y'all how to do it easy. Of course, we welcome suggestions and comments in the comments section. If you have any suggestions, anything you want to see us make, let us know. And we will get back on and build. And we will try our best to do it. I'm willing to try anything I can. I don't care what it is. Yes, a lot of y'all be thinking, oh, that's too hard to do. No, it's not. It's actually a lot easier than what most people would imagine. And we don't have to have water down there, do we? Yeah, we would have to have water down there just to make sure it flows properly. That's so you can be able to grow all the crops in this section here. <laughs> My charger cord keeps getting in the shot. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't damage too much of it. Right. Now, the reason why I'm building it like this is because these are the walls. And this little path here, it's actually going to be a redstone trail that you can not even jump up on. Come across over here. If you want to, you can <laughs> always put an extra layer right here as the actual wall itself. don't have to, but it's up to you. Yes, this stuff takes a lot of material. Just make sure you have a lot of pickaxes on hand. Mm-hmm. Preferably stone, because it's a lot easier to use than what most people would imagine. And stone, when picked, it makes cobble. Right. Which, if you have the city texture pack, that's what stone looks like. <laughs> City texture pack. Do, do, do. You don't have to have a texture pack, but we did it to make it look nice. Use caution taking video. 
I don't know what's going on. But, oh well. Over there's some dust down. Which, of course, people can crash the rest of dust over this if they want, but they don't have to. They can even put it back here. Which I would, because it makes it a lot simpler that way. And you still got the flash between the pistons. So it works easier that way. And you can just drop it down like this. You can have it down here if you want the lever, or right here. Personal preference, of course. Right. Personal preference, of course. Then when you build up a wall, I try to make it at least tight enough where you can actually walk under it without worrying. Which is about three to four high. Right. Depending on how high up you are and how high up... Um, you want the, the ceilings. Is, and how high up you want the ceilings. But when you're coming up the pathway here, have it high enough you can jump up it. And the roof can be any kind of material you want. We'll show you by using glass. I prefer glass because it's just easier. And it gives a lot of natural light. Right. And it also helps the crops grow better. It mm. gets some natural light in, you can keep mobs out. Well, if you completely build a building around it, you can. Right. And this is as many of items that I can help y'all learn how to build. Most people don't take the time to actually explain how to do it. Because they're like, oh, who cares about how much, how you have to do it? Well, a lot of people need to know how to do it precisely. Mm-hmm. Of course, when you get that part done, the next thing to do is always have hoppers, because that's the best way to use it, because you can catch... Stuff in chests, which is not I'm going to I usually put chests about two blocks away from the farm. So that's where your hoppers are going to go. Of course, make sure you crouch before you do, put the hoppers up. Otherwise, it may not work. Because otherwise, you'll go into the stuff. You know, it's just giving me caution that it, I could warm up my tablet if I record while it's charging. But it isn't warming up too much. Right. And yes, the hoppers actually prevent water from flowing out. Which is something I didn't even know. And if you're doing this in survival, you could always use the water area that you just made. Second block on either side or anywhere in between. Not the ends. You used to fill up the water holes. Yep. And if you have the stuff set up perfectly, which this shows that repeaters I need. Redstone repeaters. Which sends the signal. One isn't all it usually takes, but that depends. So. If done right, water flow. Looks like we broke it. Yeah, that happens sometimes. That's why I prefer to go behind the um, pistons, just because pistons can do that. So having it behind the pistons, still true as pistons regardless. Means not flowing course, all the way right. down. And of course, the reason what that is is because parts like this. These water holes have to be plugged up, more covered, like so. 
No, these two have these because if you don't, then you're not gonna have stuff go on top of them. Make sure your back is filled up. Sometimes, if the flow ain't right, you may want to fill up one block higher. Just to be safe. I know the water will not flow out. Okay. Hooray! Alright, so that means I can drop this down one block. Let me get my coppers here. It takes a little bit to perfect redstone devices. Yeah, just ignore all the noises you hear in the back. Mm hmm. This is maybe tricky. Yep. And of course, sometimes you'll break the lever by accident. I'm not too, but I'm closed. Voila. Then, course, using your hoe plant. It's done, hoe. Or it could be one. Now yeah, it can be any hoe you want. You're gonna prepare the ground dirt into a farming. Plant. And then we'll go back to third person at the end. Right. Of course, you don't need these blocks here because it makes it easier to get up here. You can add steps if you want to. That's optional, which I'll show you about that in a minute. But as you go. You can put any of this stuff anywhere you want. I usually do carrots as the first over here. Just because. And when they're fully grown, use your lever. It'll go into the hopper, oh. which will go into the chest. I usually do wheat next because. And how many chests do we usually put on these things? Just two chests. Because that's all you'll need. Because if you got close to your house. Then you can easily pick up everything as it goes. We'll do a let's build on houses in another video. Right. Voila. All the farms are set. There are tutorial like videos out there about how to do like pumpkin farms and stuff like that. But honestly, I don't think that's even worth it. That's just my opinion on it. Because a lot of people don't even know how to work with them. Where's my bone milk? Oh, that's sugar. Our nugget, bone meal. What's that bone meal? I bet it's this coffee thing. Yep. Bone meal is made by using bones. From skeletons. One bone makes three bone meal. You get them from skeletons in survival. And of course, I'm just speeding up the grocery and stuff quickly to show y'all how this farm works. 
Also, be warned never, ever hop on top of your wheat. Because it will destroy the or farm. Or any part of the farm area here. Jumping is not. You it's can good. walk over it just fine. Right, you can walk over the thing just fine. Like, it ain't nothing to And if I have gotten anything cracked like I did, it should, thing should flow right into the chest. We only got one chest at the moment. And flow right into here. Which bone goes, I'm just speeding up the process of the growth of the plants to show you how the whole farm works itself. Yes, the growth of the plants will take time, which in one of my own worlds that I've made, that's a survival role. I've actually got my own farm. It's not automatic, but it's still worth it. Is one chest going to be enough? Oh, yeah. One chest is plenty. Well, might be more than plenty, but... Of course, you can use cobblestone stairs or whatever stairs you want to use. They just walk right up here. All right, right release off. the water. Now, as you can tell, everything's fully grown. Like it should be. And once this lever hits, those blocks back here will raise up because of the sticky piston. Letting mm -hmm. the water flow, as you've seen previously. And there goes everything. As it transfers into the um, hoppers, hoppers, into the chest. Sometimes you might have to scoot it back a little bit to make it all flow properly, but... Right, make sure we go back to third person. Right. Of course, I have to toss these in personally, but I don't mind. If it's done right, everything sucks it up right here. Hooray! And of course, you can, if it doesn't work the first time like that, just take this block out and scoot everything back one block, and that's it. Of course, it auto saves, but there's your basic farm and your auto farm. Two completely easy farms to do. The auto farm does take a little bit longer and a lot more material to do, but. It works. Let's see Baby Guest for the outro. Here's Baby Guest. We'll catch you guys next time. Have fun. Goodbye.